Good morning and welcome to the Cube Solution page tutorial. In this tutorial we will show you how to edit your pages. Upon logging into your website and being greeted with the dashboard, we will find the section titled Pages and select All Pages. Here we will be taken to a section that displays all the available pages on your website. As stated in previous tutorials, editing a page is very simple and uniform. In this example, we will edit the About Us page. Please remember we use the Elementor page builder, so we will select Edit with Elementor. Upon selecting Edit with Elementor, the page will now load the About Us page and allow us to edit it. Please note the speed of this is all dependent on your internet speed. The faster your connection, the faster the page will load. Once the page is loaded, we will use our mouse to move across the page. As stated in previous tutorials, you can see we are editing the first section. Here we have the option to change any layout settings, as previously mentioned in the tutorials, or any styling section, edit options, my apologies, including a background image, background color, positioning, background overlay, border, shape divider, and typography settings. Lastly, we have the advanced section, allowing us to edit any margin or padding for this section. Moving down, you can see we have two columns. Again, select edit column on the left hand side of the selected column in order to make any changes. In here, you can see we have a column width set at 57%. This is in order for the image to sit nicely on the page. Moving down, we are able to select the text editor widget. Here we are able to edit the about us text, make corrections, add any additional information or remove incorrect information. On the right hand column you can see we have a simple image widget. Clicking on the edit button we have the option to change the image, change the image size, its alignment, add a caption or add a link, as well as change any style settings, including the width, and max width of the image. Lastly, we have the advanced tab. This is again where we have any margins and padding inserted into that image. Scrolling down, you can see we have yet another section. As before, we will select edit section in order to edit the section. If we will want to edit the what we have to offer, we will simply select the text editor widget and on the left hand side, we have the option to make our desired changes. Scrolling down, you can see we have another section, and in this section, we have a total of five columns. Each column, in this case, is displaying a category of products. Birthday cakes, cupcakes, celebration cakes, traditional cakes, and wedding cakes. Clicking on the image, we are able to change it to the desired image, add a caption, which in this case is a custom caption, with birthday cakes. We also have the option to add in a link if required. Scrolling down, you can see another section. As before, we will hit the edit section button in order to make changes to that section. Moving down, we have a title widget. Again, hit the edit widget button in order to make any changes. Scrolling down, we have another widget. This will be a testimonial carousel widget. Upon clicking the edit button, on the left hand side we have items. Item 1 will be the very first testimonial. Here we are able to change the content, change the image, the name of the commenter and so forth. Moving forward you can see we have even more. We have a second testimonial, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh testimonial. Each are able to be edited. Next, we are able to edit the style of the testimonials, i.e. the space between, background color, border size, border radius, border color, padding, and so forth. We also have an option to edit the styling of the content of the carousel, i.e. the gap, text color, typography, and so forth, as well as the styling of the image and the navigation. We also have the advanced tab where we are able to add any additional margining or padding 
to the testimonial carousel. Please note once you are done with your page, hit update in order to save any changes.